Yo YouTubers, here we are again. Again. Again with Jason Van Hoggle. Valhalla. 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 So what are we doing today, Jason? Installing these awesome looking Primac, CNC Racing Primac air ducts for the, for the uh, rotors. These are beautiful. And what they, are they used for? They're to cool down the rotors while you're on the track from intense braking. Um, they, there are two types of air vents. One of them cools on the brakes. This one is the one specified for the rotors. Um, but this thing is just feels like paper. It's super light. I'm actually very surprised. I I, I can't believe how light it is. Like, like this little bolt weighs more more than this thing does. Like it's insane. Right. So I ordered these from CNC. So they come they come in this little box like this but they don't sell the mount together. So be careful if you order that to look at the mounts. That was a nightmare again to import from Italy. So uh, please order the mounts because they don't come with them. Uh, the mount has to be there. Yeah, right now we're playing with the, the mounts, like musical chairs, figuring out which one goes where. I like, I like doing it rather than looking at the instructions just because it's more fun. Pacers, it comes with these aluminum spacers that weigh like nothing honestly this whole kit is actually pretty light i was worried about you know something dumb like i didn't want to add these on my bike because i'm trying to cut weight as much as possible but honestly this whole set probably weighs 60 grams maybe it's really light so what we'll do now is this actually goes on this side and then this goes here and it goes like that and then the other spacer goes on the other side and it goes like that to get it on there flat. Just like that. So that's where it's gonna sit, just like that. And this bolts right there. Boom. Okay, you can do the rest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't you think you should close it first? Yeah, I'm, I'm making sure it's these holes. Yep. So it's gonna be these these holes back here, not these. I don't know why they make these brackets so big. I guess for different sizes. Um, if people have different shocks, where's my this thing? Well, these bolts are different than the stock ones. It takes a smaller size. I hate when they do this. Yeah, well, it's annoying. They do the best they can. CNC racing is really good, so, you know, they, I'm sure they took a lot of thought into how to make these. You're tightening them up? Yep. Was, was... You're supposed to have a lot of grease on these, but there was already so much grease okay. in there. I didn't add any more. I mean, these things were caked full of grease, but for any, all your users, you know, watching or all you viewers, make sure you put a ton of grease on these type of bolts. Every bolt, like the brake bolts need grease. And the reason is if they're, especially if they're titanium, titanium tends to, uh, Got got gal gal uh, gal gal. Gal, you said it last, yeah, last time. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they tend to gal a lot. So, are, you, are you tightening it? Because I thought you're going to put this first, no? You're going to put these bolts. Otherwise, you can't put them from here. Yeah, I can. I can turn the wheel and tighten it. Are you sure? I, I, if I put this first, yeah, then I can't do that. Yeah. It's no. just, you got, it's a little bit of a science. You just got to be careful and take your time with it. These are supposed to be, I think, eight, eight newton meters. And I think these two bolts he's talking about. Okay. So there we go. And then from the back side, what we're going to do is roll this to where I can reach behind like this and put them in. Okay, all done. <laughs> And the lower one, which is... You like them? These? I yeah. love these. I'm actually... Was... Oops, I dropped it. I had it in the hole, then I dropped it. Oh, what she said. Yep. 
I was gonna buy them, but then there were other things on the list, so these kind of got skipped, but I'm actually thinking. What did you buy lately? A rear subframe. Um, For this beauty, right? Yeah. Subframe is the one that's coming up. I should have that next week. Also, a ton of titanium bolts. So you can see here, almost everything is titanium. Look at that. Everything. I, I don't know. I don't know why he's trucking this bike. He's just too gorgeous. Too beautiful. Yeah. All part of the fun games. You make the bike lighter to track it, but you can't make it lighter with shitty parts. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right, so I got all the bolts on there. Now it's just a matter of getting them tight. And these bolts, you don't need any lock washers or anything because these are actually locking bolts. Okay. So what the actually happens is when you tighten them down, the pattern on the bolt dig, you know, they dig into the metals. Well, actually, it'd be digging into the back of the metal on this. Right, and right, right. It, it's just like a lot. So you wouldn't really need to use Loctite on these. Okay. But, yeah. I'll take them out first. Where are my wrenches? Are they in there or did I move them over here? Oh, here they are. Here, people. So now we're just gonna get it tight. What I do is I get it snug with the open end, and then I get it the rest of the way tightened with the closed end. So I strip it. And then, if I can get it in there, I'll use this end. I'm not a big fan of opened end wrenches. They tend to strip bolts quite easily. Even if you have good ones, like my brand is a pretty high quality brand of wrenches, but. Okay, that's good. And the other two are, are... Yep, the other two are next. I'm just going to tighten this down, get it in position. I wish I could tighten it down where CNC shows up. <laughs> so picky. Okay, and last, these two. God, these are so beautiful. try to do is see if I can reach this 10 millimeter back there and do it from the inside to make sure I get it even tighter. Okay. If this fits, the extension might be too long. And if this doesn't work, I'll just have to hand tighten it. so you don't want to tighten it too much. So no, I had that, remember? Yeah. And I broke that carbon. Well, I guess you can't use the socket on this one. This is how it looks like. This is how we do it. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, these are beautifully made, honestly. And nice and solid, won't be moving. All right.
Okay.